Ninja here from SurrealFlix.com. It's that time of the month again where I share everything that I got with you in that month. And that month is August. What did I get in August? I didn't get much, but I'm going to show what I got. I'm going to show you my the ones I bought first instead of the ones I reviewed because I got a lot of review movies I did. So let's get straight down into it. I got a couple from, picked up a couple from Universal. They're the ones that are, are going for like $7.99. The, the brand new ones that just came out. I'm going to show you all. First off, we have a Beethoven. I got for $7.99. It's a cool movie. It's uh, a movie I used to watch when I was a child. And I, I thought it was still a cool movie. It's still fun and funny. I would recommend that. And it's $7.99. Next up, Tom Hanks, The Burbs. It's not a bad movie. It's pretty decent. It's got some good comedy in it. And again, $7.99. Had to pick it up. Next up, another Tom Hanks movie, The Money Pit Boom. This is actually a pretty cool movie. Uh, I highly enjoyed it because, you know, I'm kind of looking at homes myself, and uh, I look at this guy, he's, he bought this big old home for very cheap, and it just starts falling down on him. Pretty fun movie. Next up, a movie I really had to have. It's Robin Williams in Patch Adams. These are all $7.99 movies. You gotta pick all these up. This is a really good one. This is probably my favorite out of the bunch. It's got comedy. It's got sadness. It's got drama. It's got a little bit of everything. And highly recommend it. You gotta have that in your collection. Next up, a movie I had to get because it's just, well, just creepy. And I just like, like what I saw on the back of the cover. What the, the movie was about. It's Clown. I had this guy sitting on my uh, speaker stand here for about a good a week, week and a half before I even watched this movie and it, it was freaking me out the whole time because the eyes, man, the eyes, they look like they're following you around you can go any parts of the room and it just looks like it's staring at you. So I had this thing staring at me the whole time. The movie itself is pretty interesting. I like the story. It's a pretty cool movie. I would say give it a shot, especially if you're scared of clowns. It'll definitely freak you out. Next up, from Disney, the live action version of The Jungle Book, highly enjoyable. Gotta have it in your collection if you're a Disney a fan. Pretty good movie. Gotta pick this up. If, if not, at least rent it because it deserves to be watched. Alright guys, that's about everything that I picked up myself. I'm going to get down to all the movies I did reviews for that I, I got. First up is from Film Rise. It's a documentary on Tab Hunter. It's called Tab Hunter Confidential. A very crazy movie, crazy documentary. I never knew anything about this guy. He's an actor, singer, or whatnot. He's uh, one of those guys that all the women were chasing him at the time. He was like a Justin Bieber, but it turns out the dude was gay. The whole thing was kind of blowing my mind. I was like, holy crap. All these chicks are going after him. He was hard to get, and there's a reason why. He also dated the guy that played in Psycho, the, the guy who was Norman Bates, actually, who never came out of the closet, by the way. But definitely a cool little uh, documentary, especially if you're interested in Cab Hunter. Next up, a very crazy movie. It's very out there, but very stylistic and looks really good. It's from Art Exploitation Films. It's called Der Bunker. It's in German, but you have to read the uh, subtitles, but it's very well worth it. It may hit, it may miss, but... I highly enjoyed it. It's a very, very weird movie. It leaves you with a, a thousand questions at the end about, like, what kind of film this is. It's just the way it ends. It's like, is it a sci-fi film? A monster film? What is it? It's very crazy. You gotta pick this up. You gotta have it in your collection. And by the way, you can, I forgot to do this little guy just for those last two movies. Click here. Next up from Art Exploitation again. It's another kind of horror thriller movie. It's, again, it's a, it's a movie. It's like, what the heck is it? Is it a monster or ghost movie? It's called Observance. This is a pretty cool movie. Check out my re review right here. I think I gave it a 3.5 or a 4 out of 5. It's a pretty cool movie. The end is like, is it a ghost movie? Is it a monster movie? Or is it just this guy who's paid to watch his chick that's across the way? He's sitting there uh, with his camera taking pictures spying on his chick and I don't know why you never know why it's very crazy I definitely get both these art exploitation films they belong in your collection next up a very good movie from Will Go USA The Tiger I didn't know anything about this movie but I highly recommend this movie it's got really really good CGI which is very different for an Asian film you never really see really great CGI but the whole thing's about the, the, the guy hunting the tiger but at the end as the tiger's like killing everybody like armies and stuff like that and it looks really really realistic I mean some points are kind of like fakeish but overall very realistic looking very great looking and uh cinematography is really really great sounds good it looks good on blurry gotta have it in your collection very good movie check out my review right here go pick this guy up 
Next up from Mugo USA again, this is Samuel Hung, and he's directing, he's the main lead. It's called uh, The Bodyguard, not really an action film, but it's portrayed as an action film. Yes, there are two big scenes where Samuel Hung is fighting, but overall, I wish he didn't fight because it'll be a more of a drama film and it'll fit the movie a little bit more better. And that's why it gets a little bit of hate because it's not a ton of action. It's not really an action film, just I love how Samuel Hung carries himself throughout this film. He's playing an old guy with dementia, he has all these skills and stuff because he's uh, in the special forces or whatnot, but anyways, you can check out my review right here. You gotta read that before you watch it because I don't want you to go in thinking it's a hardcore action movie. It's not, so definitely read the reviews and then go watch it because it's a better movie if you do that. Next up from Arrow Video, Bloodstained Butterfly, boom, this is a very cool movie, it's definitely a kind of a mystery movie, it's got a weird ending to it, I definitely highly recommend, you can check out my review right here, but it's about some guy killing this lady and a bunch of people seeing him do it, and they, in the movie they go through police science and whatnot, forensic science, and they do it like a very realistically, like they actually got real cops to do this stuff while they're trying to solve the murder, but they eventually catch this guy, but it turns out is it, it's not the guy, but really, but is it? What the heck's going on but the ending will explain it all it's a pretty cool movie it's a mystery thriller gotta pick it up in your collection if you're an arrow video fan it's an italian film by the way but it's, it's got dubbing in it as well next up another arrow videos definitely a very weird movie it's a big hit or a big miss it's either one i mean it's got a cult following it's kind of a horror film but not really it's got bad acting in it so it's kind of a, a low b grade film that is microwave massacre kind of has a weird ending that kind of feels like kind of feels like the Twilight Zone almost, but it's kind, of, it's kind of a weird movie. It's this guy who kills his wife, eats her, and, and then he gets in this whole big thing. He didn't, oh, it's a weird, very weird movie. It's, watch the trailers, check out my review right here. You might actually like it. For me, I thought it was just okay. Next up, a big old box set I had to have, and I'm very grateful, very thankful for Arrow Video for sending it. This is Female Prisoner Scorpion, the complete collection that has one, two, three, four movies in there, all four films. Of course, there's another rendition of this. I think there's like one more film, but it's not starring the main lead. It's also starring my girl from Lady Snowblood. You gotta have this stuff. It's very, very good. Looks really good on Blu-ray, but some of the coloring's kind of off, some people would say, but for me, I didn't really mind it. I didn't really see it, because overall it looks good on blu-ray but the movies are good the first one's my favorite the second one is a lot of other people's favorite but you got to check out my reviewer here I explain all four films got to have this in your collection before it's gone because it's in 3,000 copies next up and last but not least a still book from arrow video got to have this is blood and black lace I had to pick this up I actually picked this up I bought it myself because I didn't receive the uh the blu-ray and we don't get these collection still books and I had to have the still book so I got it for 25 dollars off of amazon.com you still could pick it up and it's a really good movie you gotta pick this up i don't have a review for it but overall it's a very cool movie i highly enjoyed it it's got this guy with ghost face or whatever it, whatever you gotta pick this up it's a pretty good movie it's an italian film it's got english dub dubbing as well but anyways still book itself is pretty cool you see this guy look at the artwork comes with a booklet inside artwork from the old cover looks pretty cool i'm glad i put it in my collection i highly enjoyed the film all right guys that's everything i picked up in the month of August. August, come back again for September. Who knows what I might pick up? And don't forget to check out all my reviews, which if you don't have your annotations on, go down below. Look at the links down there. And don't forget to check out the social media links. Don't forget to check out soroflix.com. Of course, sometimes I give away movies and posters and whatnot, so you don't want to miss out on that. All right, guys, come back again. See you next time. Ninja out.